Hello, everybody. This is Barry Gotch from Post Perspective and from Modern Video Film. We're going to do an unpacking video for the Black Magic Ursa Viewfinder. Very excited to do this for you because this is probably the first one in America since it's on pre-order as of today, uh, August 26th. It comes in a nice box. It's nicely packaged, just like all the other Black Magic products are. The, the specs I won't read through too much because it, you can read, check them out online. I think the most important thing that's an OLED display, it has an, a sensor that senses your face coming close to the camera. It has adjustments along the top edge, but instead of looking at all the stuff on, on the outside of the box, I'm gonna go ahead and open the box up and see it in real life or on video at least. Let's open the box, and it has welcome. Here's our software update, which is very clever of uh, Blackmagic, I'll say, is that the software update comes along on a um, little SD card. And uh, here's a picture of somebody using it out in the wild. So we're going to go ahead and open the box up. Let's see what we have. And there it is. There it is live in the flesh. So what we have here is the viewfinder. We have the viewfinder, which is fairly lightweight considering, but but it 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 matches the camera in terms of color and quality construction. It has an adjustment here. It looks like a slider. It comes with a screw for mounting onto the camera body. And then it also has your, um, your video and your power. And then it has settings along the top here. Your zoom, display, and peak focus. And then here's for setting the diopter for focus. It's a little bit stiff, but it's brand new out of the box. And there's your tally light for showing when you're working or not. So let's go ahead and mount it onto the camera. And this is probably gonna be the easiest install that I've done for, for anything, pretty much. Now, you'll see here that it has some guides in here, and I'm sure that this was designed in advance because it just really easily slides into that slot right here. So there's a screw mount right here on the first position or an inset screw. So I'm just going to go ahead and, oh, it probably looks like I've got to put that on ahead of time. There we go. So screw it through here. Now it's working and being where it should be part of a capture screw. So that's what I get for not reading the instructions before starting the video. So we'll slide it on here. And then just find the hole where it's supposed to go. And it has a little rubber stop at the bottom. We'll flip this around and you can see it was already designed to work in the electronic viewfinder. It already has the ports here. There's the audio ports. Here's the video port, so we'll just nicely attach the video cable like that, and we'll attach the power like that, and we'll power up the camera. And I've already gone ahead and um, turned the um, uh, did the update. 2.6 for the software. Here's the top of the viewfinder. We've got the focus diopter here. We have zoom in, quick snap zoom for focusing. We have our display settings so we can toggle through and, and they're basically the same that's on the side of the camera. So you can uh, monitor your battery, or your card status and such. And then here's focus peaking right here. This is what it looks like on the camera body. Now I've already got the, I'll just flip it around here. 
shoulder mount kit. Here's the shoulder pad. And then this is the rosette mount piece that comes with the shoulder mount kit. I won an arm here. And the online auction is a charity auction, so I've got that already. And then, so I have one hand free here to adjust the settings on the top of the viewfinder, which I can just by uh, clicking the buttons here. And that will change the focus setting and, and zoom in and things like that. I'll show, show that to you in a minute. And then I have a hand free over here for focus and for zoom. This is a zoom lens, so I'm just focusing and zooming. And you can see here through the viewfinder that we have lots of options uh, for functionality in addition to the preset buttons. So it's really easy while you're looking through the viewfinder to go ahead and change settings. So there you have it everybody. There's an unboxing video and a little bit of the functionality and use of the Blackmagic Ursa viewfinder. I hope you enjoyed this short video. And I'm really looking forward to taking this uh, new product out into the wild and checking it out. It's really going to change how I use this camera. So uh, there you have it. Take care. Bye-bye.